Welcome, welcome everybody. Happy, happy Monday night. Uh, it's a, a couple more weeks and then we start into the holiday season. Actually, we're already in the holiday season, right? So wanted to wish everybody happy holidays. Also want to get everybody into a really good mood today so that you have a good work week, another week, and then we're off to Christmas and so forth. So we usually start off with doing a bunch for anxiety and then we'll do a bunch for weight loss and then also aches and pains and some fertility as well as some sleep. And also if you want your questions specifically answered, I will do my best to get to everybody. You know I love all of you and want to help all of you, but do consider the subscription on TikTok. It's the yellow star and I will monitor. You get a certain badge that says you're a subscriber and I will do my best to get to your questions first. So with that let's go ahead and get into some acupressure tonight let's start off with anxiety and also this is great for a lot of different type of emotional balance whether it's grief or anxiety or sadness or anger or frustration overthinking yes my dear so these are really good things that you can do so you're going to follow along with me we're going to do a lot of acupressure tonight so i want you to follow along we're going to do each point a set of points for 30 seconds and then we'll go on so again we're going to first start with the rim of the ear the rim of the ear is fantastic and we have right here we have adam and anna and you guys know that if you've been with me for a while that adam go ahead and transposes just like this and also transposes just like this. So this is great for blood pressure. And so if you're struggling with breath, blood pressure, don't mess around, work with your physician, but this is a great point to do. So let's do it together. And I see Faduma on YouTube. Welcome Faduma, love, glad you're here. And I will do my best to get on here earlier. I was actually wrapping up with work. I started a new job, so it was, keeping me let's see my hair is not wanting to go up today but all good let's go ahead and get some acupressure so first point is the rim of the ear let's do this together everybody we're going to go ahead and massage the rim of the ear let's do this for the next minute 30 seconds oh take a deep breath while you do this if you can and you're seated down, don't do this if you're not seated down or laying down, let's do a little bit of nasal breathing with it. Nasal breathing just means you're breathing from the abdomen or the chest and you keep your mouth closed and you're breathing from one or both nostrils. So let's go ahead and do some nasal breathing. Here we go. Now, when you do nasal breathing, be sure to do it in a seated position or a laying down position. You can go as slow or fast and it's gonna really help you. It really helps move the stuck energy. It also oxidizes the tissue so that you have more blood flow and you're gonna feel better and energized when you have more blood flow. So we want to, hey, <laughs> Maduma, good to see you. So the next part we're gonna do is ear shen men. You guys know if you go to the fourth link in the bio, you can go ahead and also get these ear seeds and put them on here while you sleep. Take them off in the morning or leave them on here and it's gonna really calm you down. It's really, I use it a lot professionally when I'm giving a lot of talks and there's like 40, 50 people in the room. This is really great to do. But for now, if you don't have the ear seeds, and again, you can get the ear seeds on the link in the bio. It's the fourth link, I believe. And then we're just gonna do it with using a Q-tip or a pencil or a pen or your finger. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and acupress, and then we're gonna do a lot of acupressure pressure tonight. So we, <laughs> I can tell, I literally worked up until the moment I put on the live. So sorry if I'm a little <laughs> like tired. So this is a great point for really, it is called, it is the heavenly gate point. So it's gonna make you feel really good. So this is something that you can do. I want you, it's so easy. You can do this anytime, every time. You know, if you, there's only a certain number of points you want to do, this is a great point. It can also help with pain levels, reducing pain because it's gonna calm. And if it calms, then the cortisol levels go down and the pain is going to help you um, be a little less. So let's go ahead and do the other side. And then we're gonna do one more point for for just getting you into a good place and then we're going to move on to some weight loss and again subscribers if you are a subscriber please please put your question i will get to do my best to get to all your questions 
but you can, if you put your question in the chat for subscribers, you get top priority. Fantastic. Okay. Next point that we're going to do is we're going to do kidney, liver, and endocrine. Kidney, liver, and endocrine. So let's go ahead and do that. And we have a quick question. I, I'm going to try to answer this. Um, hello from UK. Is there anything for dark circles, please? Yes, you can do a few things for dark circles. One acupressure point that you can do is you can circle the eyes. And then also you want to do yin tong. And then you also want to help with massaging the bridge of the nose. And the reason why right here is because you have ethmoid and sphenoid sinuses. And if you can release them, then you can also bring dark circles. There could also be a vitamin D or K and E and B deficiency. So be sure to work with your doctor. It could be hereditary. You can do the acupressure. You can also do this acupressure point and this. And in addition to that, you can also um, get a caffeine cream and put it underneath and that helps as well. You can check out my YouTube channel. It's, there's a link in the bio and the YouTube channel can also help you as well. Um, there's some specific you, uh, pr protocols that I share on the YouTube channel for dark circles, but there you go. You're very welcome. All right, let's do going back to feeling good and starting off, we're gonna do kidney, liver, and endocrine. Let's go ahead and do this and I like to use this acupressure device. And again, you can get these devices. I I sometimes just use my finger, but sometimes I like to use the device. And if you want, you can go to the link in the bio, the fourth link, and you can look through the devices. You can also go to my TikTok shop. I went through, I spent a couple of hours going through and vetting some products. So you can also see, fantastic. This is really great for hormone imbalance, Stan. So you can also do kidney, liver, and endocrine for hormone imbalance, basically massage the half circle. That's going to help with all sorts of hormone imbalance, whether it's cortisol, um, blood pressure, FSH, LH, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone. This is a really good point as well that you can do. Fantastic. Okay. If you have been with me for a while, we are doing three points for just feeling good and relieving emotional balance, whether it's anxiety or grief or sadness or anger. And so we we did the rim of the year. We did ear, shen, men, kidney, liver, and endocrine. And also now I think, what do you guys wanna do? You wanna do women's health or you want to do weight loss and look in uh, and seeing if there's any subscribers, not seeing any subscribers here tonight, but what do you guys feel like doing? You guys feel like doing women's health and fertility or you guys want to do weight loss <laughs> i thought so i thought weight loss all right maria okay let's do weight loss women's health okay all right i'm gonna wait for one more person to kind of break the tie and then we're gonna keep going all right one more one more one more all right this is what we're gonna do i'm gonna quickly tell you what to do for women's health and then we're gonna we're, we need to do weight loss so we keep your acupressure good for weight loss okay Stand tight for one second on weight loss, and then let's go ahead and do some acupressure for weight loss. So if you are struggling with PCOS, the main reason probably is that you are not ovulating and you're not having a regular cycle. That's what I've seen. To definitely work with your doctor, you can do this because this represents the uh, uh, eyes represent the ovaries, so it's gonna help with ovulation. You can do this, and then you can also do this protocol because the uterus is pretty much right here, as well as right here, as well as right here. And you can also do this because the fallopian tubes are represented right here for ovulation and uterus is right here. Do these till you are able to have three regular cycles. And of course, work with your doctor because it's much more complicated than that. But this can definitely help. And I've, I've helped lots, I would say lots of people, hundreds of people with PCOS have, you know, for have you know babies so i you know do definitely do the acupressure and work with your doctor okay fantastic let's do weight loss we are going to let's see i think today we're going to change it up a little bit we're going to do two points on the face to help with weight loss and then we're also going to do a point on the hand for weight loss so a lot of you with weight loss want metabolism points you have sluggish metabolism so we're going to do one point on the face that's going to super relax remember this is the torso and we have right here anna is right here and so not only is the uterus here but the spleen stomach and colon is also here 
I've, I've, a lot of you guys have put in the comments that this has helped you get some weight off it, you know, anywhere from five to eight pounds, it gets the ball rolling. So I want you to do this acupressure point with me for the next 30 seconds. So let's go ahead and do this for the next 30 seconds. And I love this point because it helps you feel so good. So let's go ahead and do this point for just a little longer. It's going to refresh you. This is a great point for regulating a cycle. This is also a great point for puffiness and dampness and help you with metabolism for weight loss. So this is a great point. And this is a great point that you can do that is also going to help you feel refreshed. Next point that we're going to do is we're going to do large intestine four. Again, this is a mirror image. So basically you have that the colon is right here, stomach and so forth. This is a phenomenal point for not only weight loss, but this is also a phenomenal point for many different types of things going on in your body. It's a great wellness point. So let's do this point. The only restriction I have on this is that if you're pregnant, don't do the hand points. It's far too stimulating. So let's go ahead and do this. This is a great point. It's going to help you in so many ways with weight loss. It's going to help you with metabolism. It's going to harmonize your colon, whether you have colitis or Crohn's disease, Crohn's disease or IBS. It's going to help you with alternating constipation, diarrhea, or if you just have constipation, diarrhea, it's going to help you with bleeding gums, toothaches. It's going to help you with nausea, heartburn, gas, bloating, puffiness. It's also a great point because this mirror image is the back to the front. And this also helps you with lots of different types of pain. Have you ever noticed if you've been in an accident, you're constipated, or if you had surgery, you're constipated? This is a great point as long as you're not pregnant. This is also a great point for neck pain, headaches, jaw pain, back pain, spinal pain, mid back pain, low back pain, sciatica, sacrum pain, coccyx pain, pain down the back of the legs, and pain in the feet. So this is such a great wellness point. My only restriction on that is you can't do it. But those of you who are trying to lose weight, this is a great point, easy to do. And what I would really recommend is that you guys beef up on the lemon water. Um, lemon is so intelligent. It's going to curb your appetite and it also pulls the water to the colon. So it makes you have a regular bowel movement. And if you can't, you know, have a harmonized gut, you're not going to be able to lose weight. So that's why I'm focused on gut health to helping you metabolize and lose weight really good. The other point we're going to do is the hunger point. So right where the ear attaches to the face, you've got a lot of great points here. You've got the hunger point, you've got the appetite point and so forth. So if you feel like you had your meal, a really good healthy meal, and you're trying to curb your appetite, then one thing you can do is just massage the side of where the ear attaches to the head and that's going to help you maintain within your eating window many of us practice intermittent fasting such as myself i try to do my best to eat between 12 and 8. i did my best to eat my dinner hopefully i don't snack i still have a lot of work to do tonight but this is a great point to help you stay within that window that you want to entertain your food so that you can manage your blood sugars and your blood pressure and so forth. Okay. Yes. Very good. Oh yeah. You're very welcome. My pleasure, Mira. Is there anything to do for bloating? Yes. As long as you're not pregnant, do this point. You can also do this point and you can also do this point. Okay. One more thing that we're going to do that's going to make you feel really good is we're going to go ahead and also do the top of the forearm and again if you're pregnant don't do this it's too stimulating so let's go ahead and massage the top of the forearm remember in chinese medicine this is the umbilicus and this is the genitals so this is the lower abdomen but this is also the umbilicus this is the chest and this is right here on the face so by massaging this area we're actually massaging from mouth to anus. So this is also going to help you with digestion and balancing out the gut. The only restriction I have on massaging the large intestine channel is please don't do it if you are pregnant. But this is a really great acupressure protocol that you can do. How many times please? You can do it as long as you want, dear, but a minimum of two minutes for each point. And do your best to balance out by doing both sides. And again, the hand points don't do if you're pregnant. All right, let's move on to cravings. We are going to take care of a couple of points for food cravings. We, I know we did Irish and men, but we're gonna do it again. 
and you can get the ear seeds fourth link in the bio you can put them on and they really do work for cravings you guys if you feel like you had your good meals you exercise you're like i don't want to eat a sweet or salt or carbs tonight you gotta you gotta do the acupressure it's really gonna help acupressure releases dopamine so it's your happy chemicals so you don't feel like you need to de-stress by eating something that makes you happy such as carbs salt or salt or sugar so for carb cravings and salt and sugar we're going to start with the ear shen men so again you can get the ear seeds or a fancy pen or pencil or your finger or q-tip so let's go ahead and acupress both sides Oh, feel so good. You're going to sleep so good tonight. You guys are going to feel so good. And again, we're doing a lot of acupressure, so we're really only doing all the points for 30 seconds. But you guys can do it as long as you want. The only restriction I really have is the hand and foot points. I don't want to do it if you guys are pregnant. I got to keep your ladies safe, and I don't want any unwanted contractions. Ah. Oh. Thank you so much, Mira. That's really such a compliment. I really appreciate it. I didn't really wear any makeup today, so that is a really nice compliment. I really appreciate it. Okay, next point that we're going to do is that we're actually going to do the hunger point coupled with the on me end point. That's going to really help you relax and calm so you are in a good place and you don't feel like you have those cravings for salt, sugar, and carbs. So take the peace sign. Everybody take the peace sign and we're going to take the fingers and then we're going to go ahead and massage and this is going to help you relax and when you relax you are going to sleep well and you're not going to feel like you have salt, sugar, and carbs cravings going on. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, for hair growth, you can go to the TikTok shop and I, you can buy a derm roller or you can go to the fourth link in the bio and also has a derm roller. You can also go to my beauty tips and this is really easy. You can get it off of Amazon and then you can go ahead and do this for any of the spots that you have a bald spot. Do it for a little bit before you go to bed each night. And it's gonna help you relax and it is medically proven PubMed research to help with hair growth. You can also use it for your face which is going to help you with wrinkles because it helps you to stimulate basal cell growth and so forth. Yes, and we, we I'm going to answer a few questions and then also ask you guys, let's see, digestion, as long as you're not pregnant, try this point. And then um, also in another question, that, dark circles, we went through it, caffeine cream. You can also do this acupressure and then this, and then you can also do this. You can even do an ice cube and do it around the eyes and it will help. And also work with your doctor. Sometimes dark circles has to do with like a vitamin D, E, K, B, and also it could be hereditary. There can be other things going on as well. Okay, all right, TMJ, you can acupress the top of the, the hand, top of the forearm, all right. For weight loss, do you guys have any other questions on weight loss? I know there was a lot of people who wanted weight loss. Could you guys put in the chat if there's anything else specifically? We covered a lot on metabolism and gut health. We also covered a lot on cravings. Um, let's. I'm going to give the callers, especially subscribers, if you have any questions. So I'm going to give it a minute. Do you? Does anybody have any specific questions on weight loss? And if not, I'm going to move on to aches and pains. Calling once, calling twice. You just wanted your acupressure fix for weight loss. I see, I see. <laughs> Look, what's up? All right, fantastic. I'm gonna go ahead. Pancreatitis. Mm. Pancreatitis, definitely don't mess around. Go to the doctor, but I can give you two points, but please, please go to the doctor for pancreatitis. I want, you can consider doing this point as long as you're not pregnant. And another good point that you can do is spleen, spleen four. Medial aspect, this is the foot, this is the big toe, so medial aspect. Okay, <laughs> yeah, you have to go to the bathroom two times since you started the hand massage. Yeah, it really cleans up the colon, it really does. All right, okay, you guys, let's do aches and pains. You guys, um, a bunch of people are asking about shoulder pain and so forth, so let's do aches and pains, all right. Only rule that I have for this is do not do it if you're pregnant. Don't do it if you're pregnant, please. Okay, 
So let's go, let's go for it. And you're gonna do this if you're having back of the head headaches. This is also a great point for shoulder pain. This is a great point for neck pain. This is a great point for upper back pain, mid back pain, low back pain. Great point for headaches, back of the head headaches. This is a great point for sacrum pain, sciatica, coccyx pain, pain down the back of the legs. This is a great point for lateral foot pain. This is also a great point for those of you interested in weight loss, as long as you're not pregnant, this is a great point for diarrhea. This is a great point for also constipation. This is a great point if you feel like you're eating but you're not losing weight and you're watching what you're doing. This is a great point for metabolism. All right, let's move on to this. And again, each of the points I want you to do for two minutes. We're doing a lot of acupressure tonight, so we're gonna keep it for 30 seconds per point. All right, next thing we were gonna do is fist on top of this. I want you to do this as long as you're not pregnant. If you're having dizziness or vertigo or ringing in the ear or shoulder pain or the top of the shoulder discomfort or side of the head headaches or temple headaches or upper back pain or you're having lateral back pain or hip pain or you're having pain down the side of the legs or you're having foot pain this is also a great point for constipation and diarrhea this is a great point if you're feeling puffy flummy bloated gassy this is also a really great point all right next point we're going to do is we're going to do this point now don't do this point again if you're pregnant no hand points if you're pregnant so <laughs> we have a question coming in. What is if acupuncture doesn't work on you? All right, this is a really good question. I've treated 100,000 patients and I would say 95% of the population, acupuncture does work. At the very least, it's gonna relax you. It's gonna help you sleep. I also feel that if you don't get results from an acupuncturist within three or four visits, then move on to another acupuncturist. It could be that the acupuncturist is not doing the technique correctly. So my personal opinion and professional opinion is that it does work. It just is, are they using the right prescription? This is a great point for back pain. Just don't do this point if you are pregnant. This is a great point for headaches, spinal pain, back of the head headaches. This is a great point for TMJ, great point for shoulder pain, especially anterior shoulder pain, like biceps and triceps pain. This is a great point for spinal pain, great point for low back pain, sciatica, pain down the back of the legs, coccyx pain, sacrum pain, pain to the foot, pain on the back of the leg, pain on the medial aspect of the foot. Right, and then is there a good one for easing hunger for weight loss? Yes, it is where the ear attaches to the face. You can just go like this. You can also load up on ear seeds and put them right here. And these are really, really effective. Only do these if you really don't want to eat because it, it is really effective. And I really encourage all of you to get some really good meals in at a certain time, whether you're doing intermittent fasting or not. But this is really good to fight off nighttime hunger and things of that nature so that you maintain your window for eating and everything. Fantastic. You can get the seeds on the fourth link in the bio. They're all through Amazon. Um, they're super economical, about 10 bucks for I think five or 700 seeds. And also the TikTok shop has some good products in there as well. All right, let's do, I just wanna quickly cover fertility real quick. And then we're gonna do sleep, get you guys into a good place. Oh wow, it's already 9.30 East Coast time. And so for fertility, also do check out my YouTube channel and there is a ton, there's a thousand videos on YouTube, a lot of really good stuff. There's a 30 day free course on fertility, a 45 day course for ED for men. And also uh, we are going to launch a bunch of books and also TikTok series. So keep us in mind for the next couple of you know weeks. And then also just know that we release a daily TikTok. And then I'm also donating all the money I make on social media towards free clinics. So keep that in mind as well. All right, let's do sleep points. We are going to do two points for sleep. First point, oh, thank you so much, Diana. All my social media money goes to the free clinic. That's my goal. So I'm working really hard. I have a day job to keep me busy with acupuncture. And at night I do this to work towards a free clinic, which if you go to my YouTube channel, you'll see a free clinic that I did in my early thirties. It was a phenomenal success. And you know you can check the documentary out and I've been featured on NBC as well as the Dr. Oz show and everything. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, let's go ahead and do ear shen. Let's do, oh, yin tong. <laughs> let's go ahead and do this. 
This is a great point to calm you and relax you. Thank you, Mira. Thank you so much. Really appreciate the love and the support. Really appreciate you guys. So let's do this for as long as you want. Fall asleep doing this. This is a great thing to do. And then other point, we have Jack here. Jack, yes, Jack. We, we call them Zach and then we call them Jack. So we're going to get the mastoid process behind the earlobe. There's a great spot on the ear that can help. So what I want you to do is I want you to grab the back of the ear and find a tender spot on the bone. And I want you to massage it away. This is a great point for waking up early. This is a great point for waking up throughout the night. Just go to the bathroom and do this point and go back to bed. This is a great point for anxiety, grief. If you can't sleep, do this point, lay in bed. If your child has a nightmare, do this point for him or her. who's going to fall back asleep really quickly. Fantastic. So again, where's the point? Back of the ear. Grab your fingers. Find a tender spot on the bone. And massage away. <laughs> yes. Health is wealth. Very true, Mira. Very true. All right, you guys. I love you so much. I, I will do my very best to be on here more often. And do check out the YouTube. Do check out the TikTok. Check out the TikTok shop. Check out the links in the bio. All the stuff I wrote. So really good stuff. Do the acupressure. That's the biggest gift you can give me. Work with your physician and you'll be, you'll be on your way. And just know that my hard work on social media is to serve all of you. And whether it's monetization on YouTube or if you buy a product from me or whatnot, the money goes towards a free clinic. And I hope to make some great announcement in 2024 regarding the free clinic. All right, you guys, love you all so much. Have a great work week, and I'll be back on here tomorrow night. See ya. Love ya. Bye. Bye, Instagram. Let's see. Faduma, you have stress. Please tell me. sweetie, just massage your Shen Men and Yin Tong. Do it as long as you can. Yershan Men and Yintong.